Hey y'all, this is T.R. McCoy coming at you with another video. How are everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Let's get right into it. I'm going to talk about the legalization of marijuana. Since Colorado and Washington became the first states to pass the legalization in 2012, there are now, as of today, 24 states plus the District of Columbia that have legalized the recreational use of marijuana. As of February 2024, another 14 states allow the drug for medical use only. But now, now to I guess for medical use, you have to get a card. I don't know what doctors give you a marijuana card, then you would you've been able to purchase marijuana for uh, medical medical uses. But then you have the other 24 states that gets used as a recreational drug. And my question is, do you think that's going to lead to them legalizing other drugs. Um, alcohol has been alcohol has been legal for ever since I can remember. It's been legal. Marijuana has been legal, but you have to be the age of twenty one to buy it and and consume it as well. So the same same uh, laws apply. To marijuana, but is this going to benefit um, cities, states? Is that or is there going to be a tax break for the um, for for the counties, or 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 is it just going to benefit the person that opens up uh, a marijuana store? I don't know what the guidelines are. If anyone knows what the guidelines are, let me know. But um, I know at my job when I was working, they would test you for drugs, random random drug tests, and marijuana was one of those drugs that they tested. Now they never tested for for alcohol, if you, I guess, if you gotten, um, if you came to work intoxicated or something like that, you they will put you off work. You might get suspended. You might even get fired. But as far as doing the drug test, alcohol never was an issue. So, are is marijuana still considered one of the drugs that? Um, could have you terminated when they do the drug test. I don't know. I don't work no more. But another question. Do you think the people in the past that were locked up for distribution, getting caught with, getting caught with it, should you think, do you think those people should be released out of jail? Should they be fined or what? I don't know what's going to happen. Because I think you could, you, if you had so many grams of marijuana, if you got caught with so many grams of marijuana, I think it was a misdemeanor. And then if you got caught with the next level, it could lead to a felony and then it could lead to, to you getting locked up. You know, if it was, if they considered it was correct, if they considered it was a personal amount or was it for distribution? I guess it, they figured that out by the way it was bagged up or something like that. Now, do you think the people that were locked up, got arrested for marijuana and there's still people in, in, in prison for marijuana charges, do you think them people should be let out of prison or jail? That's the question. 
And do you think the legalization of marijuana is going to increase the um the illegal amount of marijuana that's coming into the country. Because I remember, I can remember a time when, you know, you hear about in the news, they confiscated tons of marijuana illegally coming into the country. How does the legalization of marijuana affect that now? Is the marijuana going to be able to come into the country legal? Or what? I've never heard them talk about that topic. Is, is it is it going to become an imported drug that it's okay to import marijuana from another country so you can sell it in the United States? I don't know how that's going to work, or they don't they don't talk about. I haven't heard nothing of it. I have heard nothing of it being discussed by legalizing all this marijuana and all this uh, the, the sale of marijuana in different in different states i don't know what 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 the procedure is where are they getting their marijuana from is the marijuana being homegrown in our country or is the marijuana being imported from other countries mexico colombia you know wherever the marijuana comes from how how the where do the sellers of the marijuana or the legalized marijuana store, where are they getting their marijuana from? That's the question. And is the government in on it? Or is the, is the government the seller of the marijuana now? Or you have private uh, marijuana producing companies coming up in the United States? That's the question. I know there's a couple dispensaries that, um, in Jersey that I know they um they grow the marijuana, but they grow it in buildings. It's being grown in buildings. And I think the same thing in Colorado. They were the first states to legalize. I think they have places where they grow the marijuana inside. Warehouses growing marijuana. Now, is that tax dollar money going to help the economy? That's the question. Or is this sale of marijuana just a money grab for the government and that money is not going to be used to, to better the economy or used for something? You know, usually when you have a company, so we're going to do this and we're going to give a portion to the senior citizens and this portion is going to go to that. What are, what are they doing with the, um, with the money from the marijuana sale? That's the question. Do you think it is good for, I want to say, the, um, since you're making it legal, it's going to be an issue. It's going to become an issue with kids smoking marijuana. Just like, you know, you know, you had kids that were getting caught drinking, underage drinking. Is it going to take up the underage, the children underage smoking marijuana? Do you think it's going to affect the kids? My answer, yes, I think it's going to affect the kids because they're going to have, it's going to be more abundant to, for them to get. You know what I mean? It wasn't hard for them to get now but now that it's becoming legalized it's going to be a lot easier for the kids to get and what guidelines is the government taking to prevent this from happening just like when they came out with vaping uh vaping is you can go buy a vaping thing at the candy store and now you have a lot of kids, kids, I'm talking kids, that are vaping. They got vaping and different kind of flavors and all this other stuff. 
and your kids are vaping now like crazy. It's it's a it's a problem when your kids vape. So we're gonna have that same problem with our children consuming marijuana because it's 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 ready available even more even more so now than it was before. What is going to be done? Are the schools involved in this to catch the kids when they are uh, coming to school high? What is going to be done? Is is program set up to handle this new legalization of marijuana and 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 the effect it's going to have on the communities? That's what needs to be looked at. That's what needs to be watched. And what is going to be done? I don't know. All my kids are grown, but the what? But the people that have young children, uh, teenagers, what's going to be done? What are you going to do when you find out your kids smoking weed? When I was coming up, when I was young at age, when I was seventeen, younger, you know, I smoked weed. You know, it was it. I hid it from my parents. You know, what I mean, just. I get bloodshot red. I used to have me some eye drops when I go home, but it, I did it sneakingly. Now that it's legal, are the kids going to be sneaking to do it? Are they still going to be doing it? Are the values are, are are the values the same? Are you watching your kids? What they're doing? Who they're hanging out with? I don't know, but it's it's a matter that needs to be discussed not just at home but in our schools as well you know when i was in school they you know they talked about drugs a little bit but it wasn't it wasn't no big topic you know when i went to school you knew the people who got high you knew the people who, who popped pills you knew where to go at and get marijuana now that it's ready available for everybody to get is, is it is it the same and what's being done to the children when the kids come to school high, what's being done? How are they going to handle that situation? I don't know. Leave me some questions or give me some answers. Respond back to what's being done. If anyone did have, have young adults, teenagers that's going to school that got caught with marijuana in school that came to school high, what did they do? What was done? All right, y'all. I'm going to thank y'all for hearing me out. Maybe later on I'll get into some more details when I get some more facts about what's being done about the legalization of marijuana, how it's going to affect our kids and everything. Comment, subscribe, and share. All right, y'all, I will see you on the next video. Hopefully I have a better topic or I even have some more information about the legalization of marijuana and how it's going to affect our communities. All right. I love you. God loves you. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.